Hello and welcome my friends. Today we're going to be reading Little Tree by Loring Long. Once there was a little tree filled with little leaves who was surrounded by other little trees who had little leaves of their own. In the heat of long summer days, little tree's leaves kept him cool. The squirrels would climb up on his branches to play. The morning dove landed in him and sang her flutey song. The little tree was sure to grow big and strong. Autumn arrived and cool winds filled the air. The wind tickled the little tree as it passed through his branches and ruffled his leaves. The air grew cold and the leaves on all the trees changed color, becoming yellow, red, and orange. Then, one by one, the trees began to drop their leaves. But not Little Tree. He just hugged his leaves tight. Hello, Little Tree, said a squirrel. You're supposed to drop your leaves now. But Little Tree was unsure. What would he do without his leaves? Winter came. What are you doing with leaves still on you? Asked the doe. Little tree just hugged his leaves tight. Springtime arrived and the little forest burst into life again. The other trees grew bright new leaves. The squirrels played in their branches. Little tree could hear the morning dove singing her flutey song. The seasons continued to come and go. Little tree, quacked the duckling. Your leaves are brown. Are you feeling sick? A fox said, Little tree, it's autumn. It's time for you to drop your leaves. You can do it. Ready? One, two. But little tree just hugged his leaves tight. All around, the forest grew and grew. One summer, Little Tree could no longer feel the sunlight. The squirrels played high above the broad, tall trees, and the morning dove sang so far away that he could hardly hear her flutey song. Autumn came again. Leaves began to blanket the ground. Little Tree looked up at the other trees, at their branches reaching high into the sky. He remembered when the trees had all been his size. And then, he let go. As his last leaf floated to the ground, for the first time, Little Tree felt the harsh cold of winter. But in time, Something happened. Once there was a little tree. The end. All right, my little friends, what did you guys think about this book? Did it make you sad the little tree refused to let go of his little leaves? Or did it make you happy when he finally did? I know a lot of times in life we just feel stuck in one spot or we feel very comfortable in the position we're in. But most times, it's just a sign that we have to let go. It gets really difficult for us to let go in circumstances where we just don't want to see change or we don't expect that change to be better than the position that we're currently in. But remember, with time, there will always be growth. Bye, my friends, and I'll see you in the next one.